So again, this is the Gray Reef Analid. Uh, this is on a 200R. It's the, the hook that's pretty commonly used for tying this. Um, this is a D-rib version of one. Um, and we'll use this fly in anywhere from size 10 on the way up to size 20. Somewhere in there will work just fine. So I'm taking my D-rib and I'm just going to lay it up alongside the hook. Okay, tie it in up along the side. Okay, and once I have it secured, I'm going to really stretch it just to make it thinner. And again, this is a medium size red D-rib and it's actually a glitter D-rib, even though I think I've pulled all the glitter off of it. Um, So I'm going to come right back to about the bend right there. And I'm just trying to cover up. If you have any dark spots in there, it'll kind of show through. So I want to try to cover as much of that hook as I can without taking too much time to tie what's supposed to be a very simple fly. Yeah, it seems like when they're eating midges, though, that's when it's like, ah, if I can avoid it, I will. And generally, they will eat this analid in some size or another, anywhere from size 10 on up. Mm, yeah, from time to time, but generally, I'm just, yeah, this is you know, the tried and true gray reef analid. Okay. <laughs> All right. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, not much to it. So you're going to control your depth with uh, switch on and not lead or tungsten? Yeah, I mean, my split shot is kind of putting my flies where I need to be. So. Good one. Show you another quick variation of it that we tie. There's times where, especially on a cloudier day or if there's a little tint in the water, more than normal, you want a little flashier one. 